Good day to you traders and welcome to this week's weekly forex trade forecast and analysis. Over the past two months on this channel, we have been uploading daily analysis on forex pairs, on over 49 forex pairs and indices commodities methods on the daily basis. From now henceforth, it's going to be weekly updates on all the charts. So we'll start weekly forecast over the weekend from now henceforth. I'm just starting it, that's why we are starting Monday on this date. On future date is going to be over the weekend. That is on one. Two, we'll start daily trade setup and signals. We will look at we we'll look through all the charts and we'll pick just one asset or one chart or one forex pair that has the best possibility of a move for that day and forecast. On Euro USD for this week, at present, Euro USD gave us this up spike over the weekend. In fact, the right now want to watch them give us sideways correction here and take up to the upside. Or we could make this to a running flat, retest this low once more before they'll take up to the upside. So we have to watch out for the two possibilities this week. If we zoom to the power hour time frame, Right now, I want to believe that they are giving us a sideways correction here right now before they take off to the upside. So I have to watch out for more climb this week or a possible drop back down, tag this low before that climb back up we start for this week. So we'll watch out for that. It's into one hour time frame on Euro dollar today and this week. We want to watch this give us sideways correction here, give us at least a flat here for it to resume upside. It's what to watch out for today on Euro dollar. So we'll be on lookout for that. On pound dollar for today, pound dollar at present is at the top of this upward correction to the upside right here. So for now, we want to watch them correct here a bit to the downside before they resume this climb if they are attempting to complete this ABC. Although we expect that this will drop down to make this ABC first before it will spike back up to complete this flat for the drop to the downside. So if we zoom to far time frame on pound dollar today, we want to watch and this week we are watching for this to collectively drop down. This is the trade we want to watch out for this week on pound dollar to tag this low. Before we see if they will spike back offside. Although they can stop, they can give us a correction here and they test this stop before that step starts. So we prefer a drop for now. Set set up. So if we zoom to one hour on pound dollar. This week we are looking for sale. An Aussie dollar for this week. Aussie dollar is presently attempting to retest this daily low here. We expect them that this week they will retest that low and then start back and up move to the upside. This is what we expect from Aussie dollar this week. So if we zoom to the four hour time frame, we want to watch. You see this trend line that we drew in here. Want to watch the heavy sideways that drops after expiration, they may drop, give us another sideways and complete that running flat before they will take off to the upside. True, we expect them to break this trend line this week with an up move on Nazi dollar. So, if we zoom to one hour, want to watch for this is already a flash for that drop to retest the daily low before they will come back up the buy set up to the upside. So, want to watch out for this buy after this retest this week on Nazi dollar. So to watch out for guys on New Zealand dollar for this week. New Zealand dollar has been giving us this aggressive drop for a long while. So right now I want to watch them start sideways correction this week for the resume this drop into the downside. So to expect for New Zealand dollar this week. Resume to the four hour time frame. We want to watch them on the four hour time frame. Watch them give us this. They apparently attempting to do us a flat. See, after this flat, we expect one more drop down before they will come back up with a buy set up to the upside. The collective structure is what we expect to start on New Zealand dollar for more drops to the downside. So, if we zoom to one hour time frame, we want to watch this correction they are correcting down here. We expect them to spike up, complete this flat, and then give us a drop down before the bigger. Up momentum will start to the upside on New Zealand dollar. This is what I want to watch out for this week. 
on Dollar Swiss for today and this week, Dollar Swiss is presently attempting to retest this low. So we want to watch them retest this low this week and start the buy upside that we're expecting for a long while. We saw this as A wave and they have dropped for B. We're starting to stack back up for C. So I'm just saying this buy on the last week after the this retest of this low. We zoom to four hour time frame. You see on the four hour they give us this sideways correction here and dropped. They can give us another sideways here, make this a running flat, drop, tag that low and reverse back with buy momentum upside. So we want to watch out for that buy momentum this week. We zoom to one hour on dollar suite for this week. We we'll watch right now. This looks like a flat. They can make it longer flat for one drop. After on dollar yen for this week, dollar yen is presently dropping back downside for a while right now. So we want to watch them continue this, that drop and hit this trend line. We we'll then see if they will bounce back upside from here or they will correct here and resume the dropping below. They were expecting to bounce from this trend line. So if we zoom to far this week on dollar yen, we want to watch them give us this correction back here, make it a flat, and then tag this trend line and reverse the bad momentum upside. You just want to watch out for this week on dollar yen. Sideways correction, tag this trend line and reverse upside. You to watch out for. So if we zoom to the one hour time frame on dollar yen this week, right now I want to watch this as the start of a sideways correction. On dollar card for this week, dollar card has been in this buy momentum for a long while. And we expect that it is coming to tag this top. So we want to watch them this week they will climb up a bit more and then start a big sideways correction for the final push outside. So this week we want to watch dollar card give a sideways correction before it resume the climb to tag this top to complete this A b c sideways correction for more drops to the downside so if we zoom to far time frame on dollar card we want to watch as we see with that uh, it's already diverging between the top say and the tops on the magd which tells us that after this drop to complete this structure and one more spike upside it is giving us a big sideways drop down before it will resume the climb upside so this week we want to watch out for that correction on dollar card on the one hour to watch this on euro pound for this week euro pound is presently in this sideways structure right now so we want to watch it complete this flat and then head to the downside to make this a this two would be the b structure and then one more c then we see this c we tag this low and give us a pull back to make it a bigger sideways correction for more drops to the downside so we want to watch out for that this week on Euro Pound. We zoom to four hour time frame. We we'll watch on the four hour right now. They are attempting to give us this sideways flat right now. We want to watch that to see if we correct down and resume the climb upside to equate this for one more drop. Or this could be the flat to drop before to start that upside correction that will give us this wave. Both are possible on Euro Pound for this week. Present. On Euro Pound for this week, on Euro Swiss for this week, Euro Swiss has been attempting to start an upside move for a while and has been falling short each time. So right now we are seeing this as a running flat. So we expect this present dropping to tag this low and give us an up spike that will break through this trend. This is what we expect an up climb to start this week on Euro Pound. So, I want to watch out for that. We zoom to far time frame. You see on the far right now, they are tempted to give us a flat structure here. Once they are through with the, this flat, they will tag this low and then reverse back upside this week. We are interested in buys on Euro Pound, Euro Swiss for this week. Buys to the upside. We zoom to one hour. We also want to watch out for those buys. Right now, this correction is, is looking likely to develop in this way. Tag the low and then reverse with the back setup to the upside this week on Euro Swiss. We want to watch out for this as it develops.
on Euronian for this week. Euronian is presently correcting sideways here right now. So we want to watch them correct sideways here for a while and then they will drop down to give us a structure like sideways for this correction of course if they resume upside this week. So this week we want to watch them correct here and drop. It's what to watch out for Euronian this week. So if we zoom to the four hour time frame right now, we want to watch them develop this sideways correction they are forming right now. This is going to be a complex correction this week. Once they are through with this sideways correction, we expect them to drop down. So we want to watch out for this set this week on Euronian. If we zoom to the one hour time frame, we want to watch out for that at present. They are attempting to give us a flat here for the spike upside. And they will see drop down, spike back upside. They are giving us a complex correction here. Once they are true, we expect them to drop down with set. On Euro Z for today and this week, Euro Z is presently at this towards the top, heading to the top side. Right now, I want to watch it start this week. Sideways correction here. This sideways correction here will confirm for us that it is heading to the test this daily top. After the sideways correction, it will head to the upside or it could start dropping right now this week, meaning this is in another top. And to correct here for a while, give us a flat pattern. At least this is the under correction that will still retest the top. We are expecting to start sideways correction here, similar to this sideways correction they did here before they took off. We expected to complete this flat, they did not complete this flat and they took off. So right now, I want to watch them complete another flat here before they retest this daily top this week on Euro. So if we zoom to the four hour time frame, we want to watch them. On Eurocard for this week, on Eurocard, we expect Eurocard to start a sideways correction here to resume this climb momentum to tag this top if they are ready or they could correctively drop back down to complete this running flat for us first or they will head to, the, to tag this top this week. So if we zoom to far time frame on Eurocard, we want to watch out for that. I want to watch it give sideways correction here and drop to give us this running flat this running flat structure before they resume the climb momentum back up. Respect this correction. They climb here, they corrected the climb, they corrected the climb. I want to watch for a bigger correction for a bigger climb upside on Eurocard this week. It's what to watch out for. On the one hour right now, they are this top level. On Euro New Zealand this week, Euro New Zealand is presently in this upward spike right now. So here we expect them to start a sideways correction or they resume this climb momentum, especially a correction that we complete this running flat forward before they resume another spike up. We expect them to correct down, similar to the way they corrected here. And took off. We expect it to correct here too, and then resume the climb momentum on Euro New Zealand this week. So if we zoom to the one hour time frame, four hour time frame, we want to watch them correct here. Either this small correction and take off this week, or they will correct big time, drop similar to the way they dropped here. Give us a big flat and then resume back the climb momentum outside. On Pound Swiss for this week, Pound Swiss is presently in this sideways correction right now. I want to watch them tag that top and give us this big flat, and then we'll see if they will give us a drop down this week. So we expect it to correct, tag this top and drop down for us for it to resume the climb upside. We expect this drop to come through on Pound Swiss. Resume to the four hour time frame. You see on the far right now, they, they attempted this drop and they're giving this back right now. They have corrected down. So watch them correct more to the south side before they give up one more spike to retest this top to make this A, B, C, big flat, and then drop down for us. But testing this for on pound Swiss. After this correction, drop is coming through on pound Swiss. So we want to watch out for that. Listen to the one hour time. 
On pound yen for this week, pound yen is presently in this upside momentum right now. So we want to watch them correctly and resume this climb upside. Or we'll see if they will drop to give us this sideways correction again. Pound yen is attempting to make this long drawn out sideways correction before it will give us a test downside. So we want to watch out for for that. We zoom to the four hour time frame on pound yen. Right now we want to watch them. The go inside this correction here, one more spike upside before they will drop back down. It's what we want to watch out. Once they spike this top, they will come back down for us. Before they will start this side with this correction they give us here, they will start it here and then drop down. So we want to watch out for this on pound yen this week. We zoom to a one hour time frame. I want to watch out on the one hour. This upside spike isn't coming to the on pound does it for today. Pound does it presently correcting this retest of this of this daily top. So right now I want to watch them correct back downside for us to give us potentially this flat A B C flat for the retest this top and then start the mega drop to the downside. It's what we are watching to develop on pound dollars. So if we zoom to the four hour time frame, I want to watch this correct down side. We are looking for set setups. This side is correction. So to expect for the resume the climbing or they will drop to this trend line for the resume the climb back upside. So we want to watch out for that on pound dollars this week. We zoom to one hour time frame right now. I want to look at on pound card for this week, pound card is presently at this level. So right now, I want to watch them start a sideways correction, similar to the one they did here. Before they resume this up momentum, they will do a sideways correction here right now. So we want to watch them correct for the resume the time momentum on pound card this week. So if we zoom to the four hour time frame, I want to believe this drop is the start of sideways correction. So right now, we watch them correct sideways here. And then drop more to the downside before they resume this climb. I want to watch out for this sideways correction on bank card this week. So if we zoom to the one hour time frame, I want to watch out for that as well. They corrected here and dropped. So right now I want to watch a bigger sideways correction for more drops to come through on bank card before they resume this down momentum. This is what I want to watch out for this week on bank card. So watch out. On Pan New Zealand for this week, Pan New Zealand is coming for this top. It's coming for the retest of the top. So right now, I want to watch them start sideways correction here before they give us that retest to the top. I want to watch out for this sideways this week on Pan New Zealand for this retest to come true for us. So if we zoom to far time frame on Pan New Zealand right now, I want to believe this is the beginning of a sideways correction to the downside. Is what to expect them to develop for this week, but they give us one more spike upside. So we want to watch out for this side, this correction. We zoom to one hour time frame of Pan New Zealand. Also, watch out for the same sideways drop down. It's what to watch out for this week before you take off to the upside. This is the trade. want to watch out for this week for buy setups to come true for us. On Aussie Swiss for this week, Aussie Swiss is currently at an all time low right now. So, we'll watch this week for them to correct at least for more drops, correct for more drops before the big buy come will start. We're interested in the big buy upside on, on Aussie Swiss. So, we want to ignore any sale we see this week. I watch out for buy setup on Aussie Swiss. By looking for buy setups to the upside on all these suites. We ignore the set setups. We zoom to the four hour time frame right now. You see on the four hour they are attempting to give us another sideways correction right now. We ignore any set setup to see we ignore them and wait for when they will reverse for buy setup to the upside. We're interested in the buy on all these suites right now. So we want to watch out for that to develop this week. Buy setup on all these suites. Right now they are forming another Set, set up 
on Aussie yen for this week. Aussie yen is presently in this aggressive pullback right now. So watch at any moment for them to start an upwards climb. That will make this flat for us, a running flat, but it will drop once more to the downside and then reverse back upside. So right now I want to watch for this corrective climb this week on Aussie yen. So if we zoom to far time frame, we we'll watch on the far, we saw that it gave us this attempt at the running flat here, which is not complete right now. So we expect them to collectively climb, tag the upwards of this trend line, retest this low before they will give us buy set up for the upwards correction on Aussie yen this week. We are interested in this buy correction on Aussie yen back up side. So we want to watch out for them as they develop this week. We zoom to the one hour time frame. This is looking like a small set setup to tag the low and give us complete this flat to test the low. On Aussie card for this week, Aussie card is presently attempting to retest this low and it's correcting right now. We want to watch them once they achieve that correction, they will drop for us, retest that low. And then after this drop, we expect this week they will start to climb back upside, and that is the climb we are looking for. We are interested in the buy setup on Aussie card this week. We want to ignore any set setup and watch for it to start to buy momentum upside this week on Aussie card, and that is what we are looking for. If we zoom to the four hour time frame, on the four hour right now, we see they are making a sideways correction here for one more drop down before they go that buy setup to the upside. So we want to watch out for this. If we zoom to the one hour time frame, watch for it. Watch for this to drop down once more and then reverse back upside. As we see with the divergence on the MACD and on the chart. So, what on Aussie New Zealand this week? Aussie New Zealand is presently in this correction of this climb up. We're expecting to give us this C wave of this sideways ABC. But they will drop, retest, and tag this low and then head back to the upside with the setup. So, if we zoom to far time frame on Aussie New Zealand, we want to watch at present. They give us this upside spike and give us this A wave correction, B wave correction. That now they're dropping to tag this low with C and then we expect an up spike from here. So, we want to watch out for this buy this week on Aussie New Zealand towards this top. So to watch out for if we zoom to the one hour time frame, we'll watch right now. This drop is coming for this low before it will reverse back upside with buy setup. So we want to watch out for this buy and this buy on Aussie New Zealand this week. On Swiss Yen for today, Swiss Yen is presently in this upside correction corrective climb right now. We said to climb, drop, climb once more. Give us a plus structure here. And drop again to the downside for the resume the bad momentum. So if we resume to power time frame on Swiss Yen for this week, we see this corrective plan they are making here. Once they are true with this corrective plan, they will drop for the B wave of this correction downside. But they will start back this claim for C wave and then finally give us a drop in pause. So we want to watch out for this this week as it develops on Swiss Yen. A completion of this sideways corrective structure, and then a drop is what to watch out for. So, if we zoom to the one hour time frame, we want to watch to this can retest this top and then give us that drop and trace it to the downside. So, we want to watch out first for this B wave straight tag the low and then C wave to start back up before. On Cardian for this week, Cardian is presently in this aggressive drop down. At the moment, so right now, I want to watch them give us sideways correction for the resume the drop into the downside. Resume to the far time frame on Cardian. You see, on the far, they give us this attempt at the flat right now. This can either be a contrasting flat for this drop, or that could be still make a running flat here with one more spike upside before they resume the set to the for the down. Expect this climb to occur this week on Cardian, a sideways corrective climb, especially for this drop will come through for us this week. So we want to watch out for that as it develops this week. We zoom to the one hour time frame. We watch them. They are tempted to start that sideways correction now. Before the drops will come through. We want to watch out for them. Sideways. 
on card yen, card Swiss for this week, card Swiss is presently almost at the daily low. Right now, I want to watch them correct here. And give us more drops to the downside before they will start back a bad momentum upside. Especially once they break through this low, they will reverse back and start a correction upside for us. So we're interested in that on card switch. We zoom to the 4-hour time frame. We see on the 4-hour, they give us this drop, corrected and dropped more. So right now, I want to watch for another correction and one more spread downside before they will give us that correction or up move for us for it to start. Very small drops will come through. We also zoom to the one hour time frame. I want to watch out for that as well. A sideways flat here. On New Zealand Swiss for today, New Zealand Swiss is presently in this aggressive downside and we, we, we expect it to tag this daily low. So right now, I want to watch it give us another sideways correction, similar to the one they give us here. Give us another sideways here, and then give us that final spike down to tag this loop. And as I'm tagging that loop, we expect them to reverse back upside with that momentum. So we want to watch out for this buy momentum this week after this test of this loop on New Zealand Swiss. So we want to watch out for that as it develops this week. We zoom to the four-hour time frame. We'll watch they give us this correction they can give us the correction upside make it a running flat and then drop tag that low for the reversal we come to first first we want to watch out for this low this retest of the load for the guys we come to on new zealand Swiss this week first we want to watch out for on new zealand yen for today and this week at present they have been in this aggressive drop to the downside so we want to watch at any minute they will start to side this correction that will complete this running flat and then resume the drop to the downside. So we want to watch out for this as they develop today on New Zealand year and this week sell buys to come through. As you see here, they give us this climb dropped attempt here dropped. They can give us another attempt, make a running flat here, give final the test of this low before they will start that sideways for us to the upside. So we want to watch out for this climb after more after one more drop on New Zealand yeah, this week. We zoom to one hour time frame. We see the divergence is already apparent. So we want to watch between these two. We want to watch them drop once more and then start back their by momentum upside. On New Zealand card for this week, New Zealand card we expect that some level of drops we see come through to give us this A B C structure. Then we see if they will test this top. It's what we are watching on New Zealand card. So if we zoom to far time frame, on the far we saw that they give us this up spike and resume the drop. And right now they are correcting sideways. Once they are through with this sideways correction, we expect them to break through to that side with more cells. Before that reversal will come through for us to the upside. So we want to watch out for sale first. On New Zealand card this week before the buys will come through. We zoom to the one hour time frame. I want to watch out for this set. This drop will come through before the reversal upside. So I want to watch out for a drop first and then buys on New Zealand card this week. This is what I want to watch out for as they develop. So we're going to look at on gold for this week. Gold is presently still in this sideways collective clamp structure and once they are through with this climb we expect them to drop down at least to give us this a b c flat for the take off to the upside so they're expecting from gold so if we zoom to the power time frame on gold right now the watching gold give us this a wave down b wave up side and then c wave down this is what we expect to develop from gold to make this a bigger a and this is the bigger B, and then they'll give us another bigger C up, which will then most likely retest this top and then give us opportunity to get in on the big set down. This is the big set we are looking for on gold, but it's not yet complete. So we want to watch them complete this correction. We zoom to the one hour time frame on gold right now. We want to watch this drop back to this trend line, make this small B. On silver for this 
for this week silver is presently they give us this climb back up collectively right now they are attempting to start a drop right now we want to watch that drop as we expect them to give us another flat here for one more drop down to make this structure or we'll see if they reverse back up side for us and see the structure they are attempting to make on silver so if we zoom to the far time frame right now we want to watch them this will correct here and drop back down to tag this loop before the upside will come through for us it's also expect on silver this week this set to come through tag this loop want to watch this on silver for this week before the climb will start this correction has to complete itself so if we zoom to one hour time frame on silver we'll watch them right now watch them to correct here and give us this straight down on palladium for today and this week palladium has been on this sideways correction for a while right now we want to watch them once they are through this sideways correction we expect more drops to come through on palladium to the downside so we want to watch out for these cells we zoom to the far time frame on palladium on the far we are looking at this uh, this is a flat right now and this wants to drop or this is a flat that they are attempting to make and one more spike is remaining to complete this a b c flat for the drop to come through so we want to watch out for this drop this week to correct back up and drop more to the downside first of all, into the one hour time frame on palladium we want to watch this can go as a flat here and then drop tag this low and start an up climb back to for the bigger drop to come on platinum for this week platinum is presently still dropping down at any moment we still watch for the possibility of this flat here for more drops will come through for us to the downside on platinum so if we zoom to the power time frame on platinum right now platinum give us this sideways correction and right now it's attempting to break down so we want to watch these cells come through this week on platinum we zoom to the one hour time frame I want to watch this right now this can be a wave to drop for b spike back up for c complete the flat and then more drop will come through we want to watch out for this cells on platinum for this week before the reversal will come through as the divergence is suggesting after this drop a reversal will come through on, on platinum we want to also watch out for the buys after the drop on platinum for this week plat on copper for this week copper is attempting to retest this low it hasn't retested that low right now it's spiking upside we want to watch it give us a flat structure here before that the test of this low will come through and then we'll watch it reverse back upside so we want to watch out for this set this week it can be multiple cells down before the buy will come through so if we zoom to power time frame on copper, I want to watch right now. They give another spike and they are attempting to correct this spike. After the correction, they will give us another buy. Can even be multiple buys back to this trend line before the drop back down will start. So we're interested in the say after this corrective move upside. This will move slowly upside this week. And then we'll watch for the sell back down on, on copper for this week. On US crude oil for this week, we are expecting as present is correcting right now. Once it's through with this correction, we expect them to drop, tag these lows, and then we'll see if they will reverse back upside with another correction for more drops to the downside on US crude oil. So if we zoom to far time frame this week, we want to watch them especially complete this flat. It's what we wash for them. Once they complete this flat for us, we expect the, the drop to tag the daily low and then reverse back upside with that setup on US crude oil this week. So we want to wash out for these buys once this low is tagged, the daily low. So we'll wash out for that as it develops this week on US crude oil. On the one hour, we want to also wash this looks like a flat right now. So you can see spike up as we expect for the drop. On UK Brent oil for this week, 
UK Mentor is presently in this aggressive drop, so we want to watch and correct back up to make this a running flat and then retest the daily low. Once they retest the daily low, once more, we expect them to spike back upside with that setup. Expect another correction to come through here for the drop downside on UK Brent oil. So if we zoom to a 4-hour time frame, you see on the 4-hour time frame, here was this sideways correction here and dropped. So right now, I want to watch them give us another correction here to make it a running flat and one more drop down. So you see with this divergence, once it drop down, a big upside momentum will start and we're interested in that climb back upside on UK Brent oil. Before the drop, we start back after this correction. So we want to watch out for that as it develops this week. On natural gas for this week, natural gas is presently correctively dropping back downside. So we want to watch it. What is this area above? After this corrective drop in the downside, it delivers another spike upside. So we want to watch for that C wave before it will retest the weekly low and then reverse back by setup for also the upside. So we want to watch out for that. As it develops this week on natural gas. So if we zoom to for our time frame right now, we see that at present they are collectively climbing back upside. It's a good thing. It means that this will give us one final retest. Can retest this low before the spike upside for the C wave we start to make this flat structure and then drop majorly to the weekly low for us before the climb back up we start. So we want to watch out for that on natural gas this week. So if we zoom to the one hour time frame, we want to watch out for this. On dollar index for, for this week, at present, they gave us this huge drop back down right now, last weekend. So right now they are correcting. We want to watch after the correction, they will drop. We expect more sales to come through on dollar index downside. As we are now looking at this as a complete sideways a b c correction so we want to watch for the drop right now on dollar index so if we zoom to the far time frame i want to watch at present they give us this correction here and drop so they are giving another correction here we watch them drop two to the downside so we want to watch out for these sales today they will give us multiple sales this week downside on dollar index we want to watch out for them to to raise this loop so, we want to watch how it will develop this week on the line there, set setups. So, we want to be on the lookout for them. Please. On US 30, Dow Jones for this week, they at present, they gave this drop, they corrected upside here and dropped once more. Right now, they are attempting to start another sideways correction here. Once they are through this correction, we expect more drops to come through to the downside on Dow Jones this week. So if we zoom to the four-hour time frame on Dow Jones, we want to watch that. We will allow this to correct a bit here and retest this top, make it flat, and then watch for it to drop this week. It sets it up to the downside. So we want to watch out for these sales as they develop this week on Dow Jones US 30. If we zoom to one-hour time frame, we want to watch out for those. I swear this will correct back, retest this top, and then give us set set up downside. I want to watch out for the sales this week on US 30, Dow Jones Industrial Average. So I want to watch out for these as they develop this. On US 500, S&P for this week, at present, last week they did the drop, corrected drop. Right now they are attempting another correction here. Once they are true, they will drop more to the downside. So I want to watch out for these sales trades this week on US 500. We zoom to the our time frame right now we see that they gave this up spike so we want to watch them correct down and give us one more spike towards this trend line make a flat structure and then from there we expect more sales to come through to the downside this week so we want to watch out for this sales this sales this sales this week on us 500 so if we zoom to one hour time frame we also watch out for that so attempting to give us a sideways flat here right now and then we test this trend line and then drop for us downside with set set up. So we want to watch out for this. On US 100, 
Nasdaq for this week. At present, they are they dropped, they corrected back up, and they are dropping right now. So we want to watch this smaller correction they're making here. After that correction, we're expecting to drop downside. So we want to watch this structure call this week on US 100 Nasdaq. So if we zoom to far time frame, we want to watch as present they are correcting back upside. We're expecting to correct back to this trend line. Give us one more spike upside before they drop through. We say set up downside. So we want to watch out for these sales this week. We zoom to the one hour time frame or US hundred. Want to watch them correct here back to this trend line, retest this stop and then give us better sales downside. So we want to watch out for these sales as we develop this week on US hundred Nasdaq. We got to watch out for this week. On Euro fifty for this week, Euro fifty is presently in this drop momentum right now so we want to watch them complete the running flat and drop further to the downside for us as they are finally broken through this up collective crime trend as we draw it in right now they are broken through this climb trend so we expect them to drop further down after a correction here we expect more drops we zoom to the power time frame on Euro 50 right now, we want to watch this can give us this running flat, give one more retest and then climb back up for this bigger flat. And then most drops to the downside. So we want to watch out for these sales on Euro 50 this week. We zoom to the one hour time frame. We want to watch that right now. Drop, retest, and then drop down. It's what we want to watch this week. On German 30 for this week, German 30 is presently in this uh, aggressive drop right now so we want to watch them correct correct this week and drop further to the downside we set setups these are trades we want to watch out for this week on german 30 set setups so if we zoom to follow our time frame on german 30 we saw they gave this up spike they've dropped and they're giving another up spike making both of them running flat so we expect them to drop once more before bigger upside correction we start similar to this two for more drops down the best sales to come through on german 30 this week so if we zoom to one hour time frame we want to watch out at present this is a flat for one more retail stop style make this big flat and then drop down by looking for sales setups on german 30 sales is what we are looking for this week sales on uk hundred for this week UK under has been dropping down aggressively. So we want to watch them after this upside correction they are making right now. We expect them to drop further down this week towards this lows and this low. So we want to watch out for those this week sales on UK under this week. So if we zoom to far time frame, on the far we saw that they gave us this up spike earlier and right now they are giving another spike. So we want to watch once they are through with this sub spike, we expect them to drop back down for us with sales. And those are what we look for this week on UK hundred sales setups. So we want to watch out for them as they develop. So if we zoom to one hour time frame, we're watching this right now. Both of them is forming a, a new flat, then we'll watch them drop once more, then smaller corrections for sales will come through. So we want on Japan 225 Nikkei for this week, at present, again, beside this correction drop, right now they are attempting a spike back upside. So we want to watch for this possibility of a running, big running flat before they resume the dropping down. Or they could give us a small flat here and then drop downside for us. So if we zoom to the far time frame, we want to watch this up side spike right now watch it correct here and give us one more spike up and potentially break through this trend to the downside we say set up so we want to watch out for these sales this week although we are aware of the possibility of this up climb too before bigger drops will come on japan 225 nikkei so if we zoom to one hour time frame we want to watch first for this flat and one more spike upside is what to watch out for before we wait best. India 50 Nifty for this week. 
at present it is presently at this level so right now i want to watch for this possibility of a running flag so watch for it to correct here and re come back for the retest of this top to make this a b c or this could be all the up and it's heading down majorly downside so for that we'll watch for this to give us a flat structure here and then drop for that downside towards this low so we want to watch out for this sales for this week on india 50 nifty so if we zoom to the far time frame we want to watch the start of that sideways flat correction here before the drop will come through downside so to watch out for sales on india 50 so if we zoom to the one hour time frame we want to watch out for that we expect this to correct on bitcoin for this week bitcoin is presently in this it gave it this sideways correction and it's back to retest this daily top so right now we want to watch them drop back to this trend line to give us what looks like an expanding platform one more retest of this stock before more sales will come for bigger correction of this climb down and then resumption of the climb upside so if we zoom to far time frame on bitcoin we want to watch bitcoin correct here and drop down we are looking for sales back to the trend line before it will take off with a buy momentum up after that we test of this trend line we saw to watch out from bitcoin this week we zoom to the one hour time frame too we we'll watch at present they are giving us a set setup right now so we want to watch for that set to come back to the trend line on ethereum for this week ethereum is presently in this up momentum so at any moment we want to watch them start back a drop that we at least make this a running flat before they resume this bad momentum upside so we want to watch out for these sales this week on ethereum we zoom to far time frame on ethereum you see on the far they are climbing up they give this deep back they can also correct back down here give this smaller running flat we test this stop before they will come back to complete the bigger flat here and then resume back outside so we want to watch out for both this week on ethereum we zoom to the one hour time frame we want to watch out for this sale that is incoming so at least get here then we'll watch if it will correct or drop or if it will test this stop once more and then give us on litecoin for this week litecoin is presently at this top level right now so we want to watch them correct back down a bit to give us this running flat structure and then resume back the time momentum upside so this week we want to watch litecoin correct back downside we zoom to four hour time frame on litecoin right now in the four hour time frame we see that present they are attempting to give us a sideways flat here a b c for one more retest of this stop before they start that bigger drop downside so want to watch out for these sales this week on litecoin the correction before they resume the climb upside we zoom to the one hour time frame on litecoin we want to watch watch out for one more spike upside before the bigger sales will come through for us so we want to watch out for these sales this week on litecoin so to watch out for set set up on eos for this week EOS is presently in this sideways A, B, C flat for one more spike upside before it will start the big, big downside set. So, we want to watch out for that this week. If we zoom to the far time frame, we want to watch this give us this correction tag, this stop, and then drop, complete this A, B, C flat, give one more retest of this stop. And from there, reverse back with set set up to the downside. It's what I want to watch out for this week's sales. After this retest of the stop, we'll watch for sales to come through this week. So if we zoom to the far one hour time frame, I want to watch out for that as well. To correct back down here, retest this stop and then drop back here. Complete this flat. On Ripple for this week, 
Ripple is presently at this top level right now. It gave us this A wave down, B wave climb. Right now, I want to watch and give us C down to complete this flat. As this is impossible, so we expect more upside to come through after this correction is complete. We zoom to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour, I want to watch them correct here and drop more to the downside. Corrective drop is what we expect before they will take off pause. So, we want to watch out for these sales this week on repo. We zoom to 1 hour time frame. I want to watch out for that sell setup. So after on repo this week, drop, sell, drop, sell, drop, sell, drop. We're watching for these sales this week on repo. So we want to look out for that as we take a look. Sell setups. So we want to draw in this correction right now. 